Well, have you ever felt that someone was watching you, but there was really no one there? What if someone really was watching? Well, in tonight's special assignment, Ross Blackstone introduces us to Northern Californians who say the government is monitoring their every move, reading their thoughts, and controlling their minds. It's an entire program. It's a stalking, harassment, surveillance, torture. Mary Ann Stratton says she is a walking human experiment. Hundreds of people in the valley say they are hearing voices in their heads. Electronic harassment, synthetic telepathy, voice to school technology. Chances are you haven't heard of these terms, but after searching the internet, I found dozens of websites dedicated to the phenomenon and several valley residents who say they're victims. We're not having a group hallucination. This is actually something that's happening. How much more can you invade me than to go into my brain? These men all live in the area, didn't know each other before the voices started, and say someone is playing mind games with them. Mostly it's a lot of derogatory uh, comments about whatever you're thinking about. Only time I ever had a whole sentence, he said, this is not about you which just frosted me. If it's not about me, what the hell am I going through all this for? Kevin Bond says he used to have a normal life. I was living in the San Diego area. Uh, I was clerking for a federal judge, and I noticed that I was being followed by a whole bunch of people. According to the websites, what Bond is describing is called gang stalking. He moved to Palm Springs to escape. I started hearing, as you'll hear, the hearing voices and what they'll call voice to skull or microwave hearing. Bob Stansfield says his experience was similar and started a decade ago. They were active in following me around here and I started hearing the, the, the voices uh, a little bit after the, the uh, uh, vehicular stalking. At this rally last summer, Stratton and others explained how the government monitors their thoughts through ultra-frequency radio waves sent by any energy source directly to the electromagnetic waves in their brains. And like I said, they can uh, tune it to any human that they want in this country, just like a radio frequency, an FM, like an FM station. They say the waves can also control their minds and their bodies. They can cause your heart to hurt, they can cause, blast your stomach, they can cause your ankles to give out, they can cause your knees to get out, whatever they direct it to, wherever they can direct the pain to, your body feels all of it. Why? They claim the government is perfecting mind control technology to use in war. In this all form of terrorism and torture to drive the, the targeted subject insane, to drive the, the human insane. The government has confessed to similar operations in the past using LSD or hypnosis. Now, hundreds of self-proclaimed mind control victims say these documents prove it's happening again. Cheryl Welsh says the government uses radio waves to affect other people around her so as to study her mental reactions. Wherever I go about in my day, people will spit, swear, blow smoke in my face, basically a hundred insults a day. Sounds far-fetched? Well, don't make up your mind just yet. Some say they have research going back more than 40 years, which says it's possible. I've got the documents from NASA, from uh, Federal Times, from back in the 70s, the DIA, talking about how they were going to use this microwave hearing to, make, to drive political targets crazy. Welsh is also a law student at Lincoln. Through her organization, Citizens Against Human Rights Abuse, she shared documents she's gathered with hundreds of people around the world. Documents like this from the United Nations. It talks about the electromagnetic weapons and the Russians wanted to ban the weapons. Welsh is not the only one. In his latest book, Earth Rising, renowned author and speaker Nick Begich cites more than 30 patents that show mind control is possible by using light, sound, or electronic fields. Vegas used this infrasound device to demonstrate on me. I can hear it when you press it to my skin, but not when you take it off. Right. So that's sending the signal through my skin. Through your nervous system, right into the brain, and the brain is decoding it. And so it's almost like it's right in the center of your head. And you can do that even if it, you weren't touching my skin? Not with this device, but if I were using a microwave carrier at a distance, we could achieve the same thing.
He says the sound could then be used to control my behavior, and the waves can be sent through any energy source, radio towers, indoor lights, especially the Internet. It would be difficult to target specific people like Orr, Stratton, or Welch. But to target an individual, um, you really need some line of sight, and you'd need to use something like a microwave carrier. But he says people can be controlled in mass. The question then is, has the government used the technology? Begich says yes. He believes the U.S. sent anxiety signals to get Iraqis to surrender. Bond says he's found more than 300 victims locally and is tracking others across the state through billboards. In Johnson Valley, a Freedom House just opened to help people who believe they are being targeted. To many of you who find yourselves uh, the, the object of covert harassment, that there is hope and that you are not alone and that we are striving uh, to, uh, to find legislation uh, for, and we're working towards freedom for all. Derek Robinson leads a national group called Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. He says he knows who's playing mind games. Rogue government officials that are uh, sponsoring this. Um, also corrupt business officials and um, private citizens. And he also told us how. Most of it is delivered by microwave and I believe it's satellite delivered. Uh, whether someone is uh, on a remote location using a, a laptop or next door using the desktop. Bond says neurotransmitter chips that run off body electricity have been inserted into some people. And they assign cell phone numbers to them. The cell phone numbers are then run through a computer and a computer translates your thoughts. This crime has been available to the, to, uh, the military for 60 years.